Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. So. Hey, guys. Welcome back. We're going to get more coins. Okay, dokily. We got to get 57. Yeah, boy. Okay. So once we get 57, then we got to get come back here and get this bad boy right here. Yeah, dude. Uh, not now, though. Yeah, not Don't now. Don't touch it. I get that. Leave it now. No. I get that. Damn it, no. <laughs> um... Oh, actually, so th there is something I wanted to talk about um, that Do happened it. at the BronyCon I went yeah. to. Yeah. So, uh, one thing... Can we talk about anything else? Uh, not right now. <laughs> First, we have to... I'm kidding. Stay at top. <laughs> I'm kidding. Royal Goose. Can we talk about Bronies? The oh. ultimate mission right now is to just stay on subject and get the subject done before we move to another one. So, there's, a ga there's always a gaming room... At the convention, even though it's a My Little Pony themed con, they always have a gaming room because you know it's a it's a fucking geek con. People are into that stuff. Uh, when I was there, I was so happy. It was a chastity themed. Um, it, well BDSM too. Oh, well, while that's we, like total opposite. While we wear furry suits. Being cha chastity. What? What's chastity? Not having sex. Oh. You know what a chastity belt is <laughs> from the Middle yes, I Ages? Do. They have like spikes and shit. So if you like yes. stuff your dick in the holiest of holes. You'd fucking get a nice uh, cut on there. What? Yeah, it would cut your dick off. What? Yes. That's what chesty belts did? Yeah, dude. Put a picture on screen. I'm going to okay. show James one at the same time. I was just talking about whatever was on my mind sexually. I'm just talking shit. Okay. For no good reason. Verbal diarrhea. I have nothing against uh, bronies. Yeah, I know you don't. Aw, oh, rip. Dang it. One. Oh, well. Oh, there's still plenty of coins. Okay, so what I was going to say was uh, in the gaming room, I was so happy to see they had Smash Brothers for the N64. Has, like, spikes and claws Holy and shit. shit. Yeah, dude. Oh, that's not... I've seen chastity belts in, like, movies before, like, Meet the Spartans, but... Yeah, okay, like, new chastity belts. Old-school medieval chastity belts. They'd have, like, spikes and shit that would, like, just destroy your dick. Jesus. Yep. But wouldn't... If somebody were to see that, if a guy were to see that, wouldn't they be, be like, okay, not doing it? Uh, I mean... Or were they too stupid to realize, okay... You, I should do it. If you're one uh, who can't take shit, I'm about to get graphic here. So Okay. Uh, back in the medieval ages, rape was like pretty common and shit. Oh, really? Not like fucking justifying that or anything. It was just a, a lot more uh, common. Because um, men could do like whatever the fuck they wanted. Oh, dude. Oh, shit, boy. What the, what the hell? Holy shit. <laughs> Damn. <gasps> oh, my God. I've never done this before. Okay, well. I'm on the moon. Boing. <laughs> Boing. All right. Neil Armstrong, motherfucker. Anyways, yes, rape. You were saying. And you missed it. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, and people would be drunk all the time because the water wasn't safe to drink, so people would drink wine and beer instead of uh, water. I see. So drunk rapers and shit, and they wouldn't pay attention. They'd just fucking try and rape people, and uh, then their dick would uh, get cut off, so. Oh, I see. So a defense mechanism. Yep. I see. Yeah, see, because when you said chastity belt, I I thought of the current ones where it's just like, nope, you shall not pass. Yep. And that's it. Nothing bad happens. And mission successful. I successfully totally uh, steered us away from uh, you talking about the brony thing when you're like, I've got one goal here and I'm not going to fucking... Uh... Well, you know, it, it was an interesting subject. Yeah, So baby. that's totally fine, bud. Hell yeah. No worries. As long as... You know, if we get steered away, as long as it's an interesting subject, I'm not going to be super salty about it. Damn it. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Do I need to be salty, too? Yeah. Do I need to suffer along yeah. with you? So, um... Okay, not going to get this star yet. Yeah. So... so you just want them coins! <gasps> oh! Well, I'm going to get lunch on that note, and uh, James can go and collect all that shit off camera. What? Uh, we'll see you when we're done with that. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to the fourth attempt. Oh, my God. James Jesus kept falling Christ. in the same holes. Oh, that fucking hole with the giant boulders. Oh, I wish we had it recorded, because then you guys could see me freaking burst a blood vessel all over my body. But Smash on, six, on the 64. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, put the pin in it. So, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, at the con, uh, yeah, no, the, at the gaming room, they had Smash with a Nintendo 64, which mm -hmm. I was super happy to play, because that's, I never owned that game as a kid. My Me neither. My neighbor had it. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I said this before, but my mom thought it looked too violent. Oh, yeah, I think you did say that. But, you know, I, I got lots of video games as a kid, so, you know. 
<laughs> not one to complain. So, um, so yeah, it was really fun to play it there, and uh, I really want it to be on the Switch. We Elliot and I were just talking about this. We Nintendo. really want. We need N sixty four games for the Switch. Yeah, I don't know what Nintendo's fucking doing. They're like, this is what people want. They want to pay for the online sub service or subscription service. And then get random ass fucking NES games, even though we have the NES Classic. Like, mm -hmm. um, I don't think I want to play NES games. Yeah, they've already. Oh, hello, fucking Luya. Mm. So, yeah, dude. Uh, Maybe OG Zelda. That's about it. It's, I mean, having NES games on the go is cool. Cause I mean, but you you're already you're already able to do that with the 3DS. But yeah, ha having them on the Switch is nice. But having Smash 64 or like. Zelda Wind Waker on the go like that, that would be amazing. And yeah. I really just... Metalhead Mario can move. Okay. I really... They haven't even, like, really detailed their final plan. They, they have to release those games eventually. I think they probably have a plan to release them eventually. They just haven't detailed it out yet. Hopefully. They better. Yeah. Because if they don't, they would just be throwing money away. Mm-hmm. That's just ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. Tonk Tonk. Yeah, cause yeah, we what what else were we talking about off screen? We were talking about um, uh, oh, whoops, wrong location. We were talking about uh, like how Nintendo can be surprising, like the way that um, they they actually correct their mistakes, like with Mario Party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. E three happened recently. I mean, it's gonna be way past by the time this video airs, but yeah, E three twenty eighteen, Super Mario Party, man. Yeah, today is uh, June 23rd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we could make an E3 video, but I don't know. I think we've kind of missed the boat on that one. An E3 video? Yeah, where we release it, like, like today or something, but eh, it's too late. Where are we? Let's just talk about it right now. Um, oh, where we talk about E3? Yeah, dude. Um, we could do that if you want. Um, we could make an E3 episode. Um, but we can't do it on Mario 64. Unfortunately, um, we could, and we'll just cut this part in, <laughs> and this will double air. That'd be weird, huh? When you don't talk about video ideas ahead of time, <laughs> then you bring it up in the middle of the episode, and it's super fucking awkward, because you don't know if you should keep talking about the thing you were talking about, or if you should save it for a different video. I'm eating nuts. Yes, you are. I'm very hungry. Um, okay then. So I guess, in case we make that video, we will not talk about E3. Hey, this is where you fell off a bunch of times. <laughs> yeah, that was so fun, huh? Elliot, uh, Elliot actually came on here and he revealed to me that the reason I kept falling was because of the... The hitbox. <clears throat> yeah, the fucking hitbox, man. Of that, uh... If I go to... Mesh? Yeah, I don't like... get it. Here it's fine. Yeah. See this? What the fuck is that shit? I don't know, man. <sighs> this game's 22 years old. Yeah, boy. Eh. Well, I'm just happy we got the fucking 100 coin challenge done. Me too. <sighs> Jesus, okay. Just two more coin stars to go. Yeah, baby. Mm. Um. You saw a movie recently, didn't you? Yes, I did. I saw The Incredibles 2. How was it? And Deadpool 2, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, Incredibles 2, it was good, dude. It was, it was a good sequel. It's one of those sequels where you can tell that they actually put the time and effort into it and wanted to make a legit good movie. Nice. Yeah. Unlike freaking I don't know, Rio 2 or a lot of other sequels where it's mm -hmm. like, eh, okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, it was good. I, it's, I don't know if it's better than the first one or not, but uh, I definitely enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. It's. It felt like the same. It was, it was fairly similar, but yeah, no, it's... It, it was one of those movies that felt like it definitely could use a sequel. It, okay. Like it had a purpose. I just want to say, no spoilers. There was one new character in it. Mm, she is sexy. <laughs> She's introduced early on, and yeah. It's funny because my dad, he my dad has always had a huge crush on Elastigirl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like when me and my family saw The Incredibles back in 2004 in the theaters. Oops, am I going the right way? Uh, Metalhead Mario can move. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I think there's one in the lake. E maybe? Yeah, it's the one in the lake where you have to run and hit the switch underwater and then long jump. So I'm in the wrong location. 
Also, another news. News. Uh, James wants to have sex with cartoons. Oh, okay. Anyways, let me finish that thought before we go. Yeah. So my dad, he always had a crush on Elastigirl. Like my mom even. Don't told you want to let yourself die so that you can like go to the other place faster? Isn't that what you were doing? No. No. But that's actually a good idea. <laughs> oh my fucking god! We'll I cut. hate. We'll I cut. hate. We'll cut. Mm. See you there. Okay. See well, you there. Fuck me. Uh, I hate this episode. <laughs> this episode fucking blows. Oh, it's actually six minutes. Yeah, so... Alright, don't cut any of this. We'll leave that in. Hi, guys. <clears throat> See you on the next one. I hate my life.